Well, good morning and welcome back to Russell School for what is going to be a very action-packed second half of the summer term. It's a summer term um, which has been full of surprises, uh, where I'm incredibly proud of all that we've achieved in terms of uh, launching the Russell School Diploma. We have also uh, spearheaded a national campaign called Safer Schools, uh, which is designed to ensure that all boarding schools in the UK uh, adhere to the very, very high standards in terms of health, safety and well-being ahead of our reopening. But I think the really exciting thing for us here is that we're expecting to welcome back our reception, our year one, our nursery and our year six students uh, on Monday the 8th of June. And now we are really, really focusing on September when we'll be fully reopened and welcoming everybody back in terms of day, day pupils and boarders across all year groups. And I think that we are now in a position, thank goodness, where we can see the light at the end of what has been an admittedly quite long tunnel. Um, and I'm sure that in the fullness of time, we want to reflect on the many lessons that we have learnt uh, through this remarkable, extraordinary period. But for now, I hope that you've had a very enjoyable half term. Um, I hope that you have been able to get outside and enjoy the fantastic weather that certainly we've been happening, having here on the Fylde Coast. Um, and uh, now you have plenty to look forward to. If you're in year seven, eight and nine, then of course you've got a week of lessons. Then you're going to have a guided revision for a week. Then you're going to have your, um, your internal examinations or tests. And then you're going to have a project week afterwards before going back into full classes for those final two weeks of term. Uh, if you're in year 10 or year 12, then of course you, the next two weeks are taken up with revision uh, and your internal examinations. And of course, if you're in year 11, then your pre six form program starts uh, this week. And having looked through the list of lectures, seminars and workshops and so forth that you are going to be able to participate in, um, then I'm sure that, that you're going to uh, va really, really enjoy it. And we are also, I'm really pleased to say, uh, welcoming many new students uh, who are joining our online provision from this half term. Um, and so we, we welcome them as well, albeit virtually, and we look to, forward to meeting them properly uh, in, in the fullness of time. So this is a tremendously exciting time where as a school, we now are in a position where we're looking forward, uh, we're preparing for next year, whilst consolidating, revising, uh, and assessing all that, all that we've learned this year. So it's a, very, it's a varied five weeks. It's going to be a very, very busy five weeks, um, but I'm very uh, pleased to think that we will be able to end this uh, summer term in a, in a very, very positive position indeed. So enjoy, and uh, until this time next week, goodbye. Welcome back on this glorious sunny day from Russell Reception. We hope that you've had a restful, relaxing half-term break, and that you're ready to make the most of this final half-term. For those of you in Year 11 and Year 13, congratulations on a really successful exam season. Your maturity, your drive and determination, as well as the work that you produced is a wonderful reflection of you as individuals and as a group. Your results will be published in the summer alongside your exam board results. Please look out for a letter from me this week explaining how we have arrived at the grades that we will send to the exam boards. For those of you in year 10 and 12, we wish you the best of luck in your end of year exams. Look out for an email from me early next week about plans for the rest of this half term. For those of you in year 7 to 9, this is your last week of timetabled lessons before you're provided with structured revision time in advance of your exams beginning Monday the 15th of June. We know you have all been working very hard on your remote learning and we are immensely proud of you all. We want you to view these exams as an opportunity to show what you've learned and what you know and as such they should be viewed as a positive experience and as a way to grow rather than anything else. Our extra remote learners for the week beginning Monday the 11th of May are Olivia Crone for German, Natasha Mystery for Mandarin, and Chris Buckley and Alex Jordan for consistently high quality work in biology, Angela Oluwali for exceptional focus and progress in maths, Gabrielle Terrington for her excellent research and exceptional project in chemistry, and Sina Sit for her consistently positive and practical approach to learning as recommended by her form tutor. 
Thank you for all those of you who contributed to our Acts of Kindness Challenge. We had some wonderfully heartfelt entries celebrating uh, work that communities and individuals are doing in this time of crisis. Um, thank you in particular to Nikita Main, Chloe Spencer, Karina Four, and Anastasia Gunandani for their contributions, which will be published on social media in due course. Our competition for the, for the coming week focuses on photography, and I think you will have a chance to get very creative with the theme of texture. I have provided a couple of my own examples on the Russell Performs Google Classroom, so do have a look at those. During the course of this assembly, you will have had the chance to hear Chan Ekrevan performing his poem that he first performed at the open, recent open mic night. Uh, Chan wrote the poem for himself, and I hope, like me, you will find it exceptionally thought-provoking. There were in fact a number of outstanding performances that uh, took place and I very much look forward to the next instalment of the Open Mic Night. One particular poem by Miles Davis has recently even been put to song and we will share this exceptionally moving piece with you in due course. Wishing you all a wonderful and productive week. I'll be reading you my poem. I hope you enjoy it. It's called The Walls. So here I go. <clears throat> These walls, they close in a bit more each day. Finally I'm free, but still gasping for air. I walk, I work, I try to find a way for me to hide, but no pastime could shelter me from their suffocating eyes. I ran, oh yes I did. I went out as fast as I could. I collapsed onto the floor. I saw the house made of wood. The window left open. I couldn't help but take a look. I stood there for days, sometimes for weeks. Ever since the walls came, however, all I could see was my teary cheeks. I fought for my breath once more, and the one place I felt free, as the walls tumbled over, I found peace in the debris. I took one deep breath, suddenly, the walls ceased to exist. There it seemed this sick twist was nothing but a mist. I only felt stuck because I was free enough to resist. Well, hello and good morning and welcome back to the second half of the summer term of 2020 here at Russell School. Um, I thought I would begin by playing you a, a piece by the Argentinian composer Alberto Yanisera, um, which seems to sum up um, the atmosphere here at Russell on this very, very hot uh, Sunday morning. I hope you enjoy. <laughs>
Hello. <clears throat> My voice is a bit hoarse. I'm sorry. I've got, I think I've picked up a bit of pollen. Anyway, today is Sunday. I'm recording this uh, for um, the assembly this week. Today is Pentecost Sunday. It's the day when the church uh, gives thanks to God for its birthday. It remembers the Holy Spirit of God descending upon the disciples and giving them power uh, to go out and proclaim the good news of Jesus Christ. And so throughout the world today is Pentecost Sunday or Whit Sunday, giving thanks to God for the Holy Spirit of, uh, of him coming down upon his people. Um, so it's the birthday of the church and I've got a little birthday cake here together with a candle. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear church. Happy birthday to you. Now, normally, when you have a birthday, you have a cake and a candle, and then somebody blows it out and has a wish. Well, I wondered if you had the opportunity to invite people around to a birthday party, just to special guests. Not pop stars or anybody like that, you know, not interested in, uh, uh, you know, those who catch the headlines today. Interested in people that, two people that you might invite round to your special birthday. Two people. You see, birthdays are synonymous with giving gifts, aren't they? You get a gift at your birthday usually. Um, well, why not think about today and this week? Those who have given more to the world than they've taken. Those who've given more to life than have taken from it. And if you were to have a birthday party, who might you invite that would reflect that? Two people. Go on, I want you to this week think of two people that you would invite to your birthday party, this special birthday party. They might be people from the past. They might be people from the present day. But they're people who've made a real significant difference to the world. People that we would say, yes, they have given more than they have taken. Well, I think if I was allowed two people, I'd probably choose two from the past. I think, first of all, Mahatma Gandhi. I'd love to have him at a party and just sit and chat with him. And then the second, probably, would be somebody like Martin Luther King Jr., I think quite appropriate given all that's going on in America today. Those two people have gone down in history as making a difference. They're people who gave more than they've taken from this world. So my challenge to you this week is to think, if I was to be able to invite two people, special people from the past or the present who've made a difference to the life of the world, who would I choose? And a prayer for today, this Pentecost. Dear Jesus, stretching out your arms, you offered your love to all. May all the peoples of the world be drawn to your love, especially the people I shall work with this week. Realising that we're all nourished from the same source, may we so live that others are not deprived of food or friends, of shelter or smiles, of pure air, of good earth, or of the desire to live fully human lives. Your kingdom come, O God, your will be done on earth as in heaven. And so may the eternal creator keep us, the beloved companion beside us, the spirit smile upon us. Happy birthday. Welcome to my party, Mahatma Gandhi, Martin Luther. How are you? <laughs>